Hey everyone, I got a question. How do I make an animated end slate? I'm going to do my best to walk you through it. I went on to Google and searched for gradient tumbler background so there was something pretty to look at. Then under the tools section, I went ahead and selected size as large and under usage rights, you want to select ones that you're able to modify and reuse. Once the results popped up, I went ahead and clicked on this first green one that I thought was cute. Next, you want to make sure that you view the image full size and then save that image somewhere on your computer that you are going to remember. I went ahead and just named mine background. Next, you just want to open an image editor such as PicMonkey or Photoshop and open up your image and trim it to the size of 1920 by 1080. This measurement is important because you'll see that I actually made a mistake by choosing 1280 by 720. I'm scaling the photo larger so I can see more of the gradient background on the image. Then when I'm happy with my crop, I'm going to go ahead and save this image to my computer. Next, we're going to open up Keynote and select a brand new project and then choose theme of wide. Go ahead and erase everything that's already there and then drag in the photo that you just saved. This is where you'll see I ran into my problem of having the dimensions of 1280 by 720 instead of the 1920 by 1080. So save yourself the hassle of having to resize and center your image like me. Once you have your background image set up, go ahead and start dragging in your images for your social media icons. I included Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And make sure when you're looking for these assets online that you are selecting PNGs so they have a transparent background. Of course, if you are making this for yourself for real, you probably take a lot more care than I am. I'm probably not lining things up exactly correctly. You would want to make sure that you do that. Okay, next up, we're going to go ahead and add some text. You're going to want to go ahead and put in your username. It's up to you if you want to put the just the at sign or if you want to put the entire address, totally whatever you want to do. And I decided to change the font color to white. I know it sounds like a simple tip, but please make sure that you spell all of your own usernames correctly, okay? I'm just adding a little phrase that says, watch more videos, because I plan to put the videos beneath it. I also want to mention that everything I'm doing in the layout is just a guideline. If you want to do things on the right or left hand side, you do exactly whatever you want to. It's totally fine. Now with the text selected, we're going to hit the animate and the add an effect button. Add an effect from the pre-selected list, and you can preview the results of what it will look like. Once you find an effect you like, you can click the properties to change the things such as duration or bounces or jiggles. I've chosen spin. The next thing I'm going to do is add effects the same way that we just did to the one with text to all of the social media icons. For Twitter, I've chosen blank. For Instagram, I've chosen jiggle. And for Facebook, I used pop. I also made sure that all the animations were the same amount of time in length. Hit the build order button in the lower right hand side and let's put it all together. This is the menu where you get to order the actions for all of the animations you've created. You can wait for items to have finished their animation before another one starts to animate or run things simultaneously. The options are up to you and are totally endless. It's also worth noting that if you like the way that your end card looks, you don't have to add any animations and you can simply insert this as an image into any of your iMovie projects. But I'm guessing since you're here, you want to animate your end slate, so let's go ahead and preview what it will look like. In this preview, I haven't added any effects to the text of my usernames yet, so now I'm going to do that in the next step. I decided to add the same text effect to all three usernames, so I selected all of them and applied Jiggle. Lastly, I changed the duration to 5 seconds so it matched the animations of the logos. And in the build order menu, I made sure to select that these animations happen at the same time or with animation 2. Now when you hit the preview button, you will see the logos and the text all jiggling at the same time on screen. When you're happy with the way that your end screen looks, you're going to go ahead and hit File, Export to, QuickTime File. This is going to create a movie file that you can insert into any of your iMovie or Final Cut Pro projects. You're going to select a self-plane file. On format, make sure you select 1080p so that you have the highest resolution possible for your file. You'll just need to name your movie file and decide where to save it, and then sit back and watch it do its thing. Here's what my finished project looks like. All I have to do now is add it as a movie file in the end of any of my iMovie or Final Cut Pro projects. Moving on to YouTube, you're going to upload your file like you normally do and wait for it to finish uploading and processing so that you can edit it. Once your video has successfully processed, find it under Video Manager and then under Edit, 
select the End Screen and Annotations menu. YouTube makes it super simple to use a template they already have with a subscribe button and two videos, which is the design I like, but feel free to choose whatever you like. The floating head is actually the subscribe button, and the two boxes you can modify to whatever video that you want. It could be their latest uploads, it could be a playlist, it could be to another channel, you can do and customize it however you want to. The items on the screen are movable, so go ahead and position them until you're happy with them. When you're happy with it, simply hit the preview button and you'll see what any viewer would see. One thing to note, don't make an end card that is too long because I believe YouTube will only let you put the videos on the last 15 seconds or so of a video. And that's it! Congrats! You did it! If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I put out a new video every week. I can't wait to hang out with you guys again. I'll see you very soon. Bye!